Hi guys, Sarah here. Uh, so today we are going to be doing a galaxy style pour on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And we're gonna get some beautiful boulders, which I'm really excited about. I'm using also TLP Sapphire and a new TLP pink it is transparent. And I've been playing with how to layer this one uh, to get it to show up. So I cannot wait for you guys to see uh, the outcome for this one. All right, let's get us down on the canvas. And if you haven't already, check out the Fluid Art Boutique for classes in Santa Fe, New Mexico, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. All right, let's get painting. All right, I've got you down on the canvas. Again, this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas, and I'm using a 16 ounce pouring cup uh, by Solo. And we've got various colors here in shades of blue, purple. I have this wonderful, wonderful pink that shifts to green and purple. Uh, so we'll see how that works because it is quite transparent. It is a pigment. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by adding some of my white mix. Let me just stir that up. This is all leftover paint. And I'm gonna come up with TLP Sapphire next to it and honestly um it looks a lot lighter than it is in the bottle if i can find my bottle of sapphire hold on one sec i may have put it away already or i may have put it somewhere else where is it oh i think i found it anywho this is tlp sapphire and uh so it's a lot lighter in the cup once it's mixed but it will dry dark um closer to the color for that matter. So we're gonna come in with some anthroquinone blue. And then I wanna come in with some 24K gold. Maybe a little bit of white next to that. Dioxazine purple. And we're gonna come in with a little more gold again. And then this is a metallic cyan by Global Acrylics. It is a metallic also. Anthroquinone blue. I'm gonna come in with some brushed metallic sapphire, which unfortunately, folks, we can no longer get. And let's see. Let's do the dioxazine. Maybe some white again. The pink. A little bit of gold. Do a little bit of white. We have a lot more white in this one compared to past pours. I'm not sure if it's really gonna make much of a difference because that dioxazine blue is quite a strong color. So it may dominate this pour. And I think what I'm gonna do is just do a little sapphire there, brushed metallic sapphire. All right, I'm almost out of that. We're gonna put down a puddle and we are gonna start pouring.
All right. Love what's going on here. So the pink is definitely transparent and you can see it show up in here. Uh, let me just get my torch going. Not a whole lot of air bubbles as these are leftover paints. And um, I will be teaching in Santa Fe, New Mexico, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And I would love to meet you um, if you are so inclined in coming to Santa Fe, New Mexico. I don't know where to put this, so we'll just... Just broadening the puddle a bit. Bring it back to middle. And I think what I'm going to do is just spread out some of the white. And one more torch. This is a beautiful line of cells here. And I see some beautiful bits down um, here. Once it's stretched out, it should be interesting what we have left for the pink. And that is one of the reasons why I put it next to the white. All right. So I think what we're gonna do is come down on this side. I do like what's going on here, although I am gonna lose a lot of it, but I love everything in here. Lots of pink and turquoises with some white and gold. The colors really blended beautifully. I'm gonna give it another torch. As the paint moves around, more bubbles are popping up here and there. And I'm gonna get in here, no, not there, but here maybe. I really want it to flow off this edge and not roll over itself, and the same on this side. Just let it kiss that corner. I'm gonna come down here. Oh 
Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So happy, so happy. I love what's going on in movement here. in this corner. I can't believe this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna bring you guys in so that you can see the different colored lines I have going on here. All right. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is tidy up my corners. And then we're going to bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, so that's all TLP Flamingo there. And at certain angles, it changes to a green and then a purple. So I'm really happy with this one. It showed up and I'm super stoked. Okay, so the Flamingo is also floating in here. But oh my gosh. It looks like oil slick. Look at that. That's like insanely awesome. Hey guys, I am really super duper excited about this. The colors are amazing. I feel like they're darker on the screen, but this is super vibrant turquoisey lagoon like colors. And that Right there, there's the money, baby. So uh, that there is a galaxy pour. Uh, if you guys wanna learn this from me, um, the originator of this technique and style painting, um, you can sign up for classes. You can also email me. I do private Zoom lessons as well. Please consider joining my Patreon account below for um, insider scoops and whatnot. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out the Fluid Art Boutique. Classes start uh, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Have a great day. Bye.